right, so we are back at it again today. We've got all of the compost and sand down. I was pretty beat yesterday, but I'm ready to get at it again today. And then four o'clock in the morning, I was woken up by the local power company because half the power to my house apparently stopped working. And they had to bring this thing out to the house last night. Woke me up at four o'clock in the morning as they were banging on my meter. It looks like maybe the irrigation guys nicked one of the two main lines coming into the house. So they had to put this in place and then they're gonna have to dig through and figure out where the issue is. Makes you a little nervous because I get the feeling they're going to tear up my irrigation to get to it. But there's nothing I can do about it today. All I can do is seed and I'm gonna probably stay away from this area. I'm not gonna put anything down because I know that they are going to do something back here. Don't forget that just on your side of that fence is where my backflow preventer is. And that makes me very nervous, but nothing I can do about it. All I can do is hope that they can fix whatever the problem is without making too much of a damage because I'm gonna have to go and fix the whole irrigation again. So always an adventure when it comes to irrigation and my house. I'm sure that anybody else has irrigation has similar issues, but you know, it just is what it is. We're good to go. Let's get going. So now we're gonna go and get some seed planted back here. Let me show you what we've got. So quick little thing, when we go to do seed, I like to use my drop spreader. And when you go to do it, while the seed that I bought doesn't have the exact amount or what the settings are for this drop spreader is, it's important to know that your drop spreader is calibrated. So the way you calibrate these drop spreaders, in case you didn't know, you go over here and you set that dial. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you set the dial to number eight, and then you take the spreader and you flip it over. So now that you've got it flipped over, go ahead and put your foot on the handle, push it all the way down, and then you're gonna go right here. There's a circle. Don't mind these circles that are right here. You wanna look for this circle that's right there. You wanna look for that circle right there. And you see that line? So you've got this line running this way, and then you've got a line that goes sideways. That This line that goes this way should be touching the line that goes that way. And if it's touching just like mine is right now, then you're pretty much calibrated. Now, I may be a little bit too much, so I could probably close it. There is a little nut right here that you would actually close down, and, um, and I can do that, and then just make sure that that line is touching that line. And then that's how you calibrate these. All right, so I ordered my seed from Super Seed Store. It's where I've ordered before. I've ordered fescue from them. I also did the perennial ryegrass that I did last year um, in my other house. And this is the exact same thing. I actually got the perennial ryegrass. It's the SS9000 blend. So I got 10 pounds of this and it's actually a blend of the Slugger, the Stellar, and the Grand Slam. Uh, this worked really well in my other lawn. So I'm gonna do this again. We're not sure how it's gonna do with all the heat coming in, uh, but I do have irrigation, of course. And so I'm hoping that that will help at least establish some sort of a lawn until we can get to the fall and redo, um, if needed, we will redo with something more permanent. It'll still be perennial ryegrass, but I realize that, you know, from a germination standpoint, it may be better to do it in the fall. I'm sitting at right around 2000 square feet, actually a little bit less than that. The rate that I should be putting this down is somewhere between four and eight pounds per square feet. And I've got 10 pounds here. So I'm gonna go a little bit light. Probably should have ordered more seed than what this is, but we're just gonna go light. And we're gonna go over it several times and just make sure that it's spread out uh, pretty well. And if we have to do an overseed later on, we'll do an overseed later on. Big thing about Seed Superstore is that they do not give you spreader settings which is a little bit frustrating but i understand why they don't do that i'm gonna set it to about an eight on my drop spreader and hope that that is good enough i'll just keep an eye on it and i plan on going over it several times in a crisscross pattern just to make sure we have good coverage and then hopefully that'll give us enough of what we need in order to make sure that we've got really really good coverage for this area so let's get this down and we'll go to the next step after that
pretty good coverage on seed with that drop spreader. I really like the spreader because of the fact that I get a lot more control. I had just enough seed to go two ways. I went that way and I went this way. And hopefully that's enough coverage. But I had just about enough. The only place that I didn't go too crazy was in that back corner over there. And that's because of they're gonna probably tear it up with the electrical when they do this week. So, so now what we're gonna work on is getting the water roller out here and do a couple passes, make sure that we get some really good seed to soil contact. And then we're gonna put down our starter fertilizer that we did up in the front, same stuff. But that's the water roller. It weighs about 250 pounds when it's full, which it's full right now. And we're just gonna knock it all out and get it all done. done rolling the next thing we're gonna do is do our first feeding for the seeding so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, RGS and we're gonna do the green pop which is the starter fertilizer 16 21 2 meaning I have high phosphorus I have high nitrogen and then a little bit of potassium uh, for us to get that start and then the RGS the root growth stimulant as you know to get the, the give it a bit of a boost for the roots I need three ounces per thousand on the RGS and then we're gonna do 12 ounces per thousand on the green pop. And uh, we're just gonna do it inside of the extra hosing sprayer and we'll be good to go. Ooh, that stinks. Ugh, good. Ugh. We'll put music until, ugh, that No, I may leave that on there. <laughs> ew, that stinks. fertilizer we got seed down the last thing i need to do is get some peat moss i don't have enough i don't think to cover the whole backyard but i'm at least going to get some down here and then see if i can get some more tomorrow morning to get the rest of the yard done i just want to see how much these two bales of peat moss will take care of and then that way i can figure out what i need for the rest of the yard later pretty much out of peat moss. I need to do the rest of that area back there. So I think another bale should cover it. I may get two just to be on the safe side, just cause I know I've got a lot of patching to do over time and peat moss, I can always use it. I think that's about it. So we'll come back to it in a few days and as soon as it starts germinating, I'll be able to give you guys a little quick update and that will be able to wrap up the video at that point. But I definitely want to see some germination before I close this off. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a few days. Well, it looks like we may be back to the drawing board on this one. We just had a really massive torrential downpour. And the last couple days we had this going on. Well, in the last few minutes, the rest of this has started coming apart on me. 
So I think uh, I think we've got a lot of damage here. I mean, this stuff over here should be fine. We'll see how it goes. It's supposed to dry out over the next couple of days, and then maybe back in there we should be okay. Um, and then, but in here we're gonna have to do a lot of fixing. Uh, kind of disappointing, but it just it is what it is. We'll keep working. The most frustrating thing about all of this disaster from yesterday's rain is that when you look really closely, we have germination. I really can't even mess with all this stuff because if I do, then I'm gonna disturb what's already growing. So I don't think I have much of a choice but to just let it kinda go. But look at all that. That is all straight germination right there. Oy. So happy and sad all at the same time. As you can see, we do have some really good germination back there. After that torrential downpour, it really did a number to all of this. And you can see exactly where the water went and how it affected where all the seed went. Um, it actually looks kind of cool, to be honest with you. Uh, you can see where I kind of overdid it with some seed back there. And then uh, just this water just did a lot of damage. And it's supposed to rain again today. Now, what's really interesting is back over there at the very bottom of that fence, I thinned out a bunch of the dirt and sand that was down there. And I actually pulled it up here. And if you guys look, it's actually germinating. So... I thought it was really interesting. I thought for sure when I pulled it up here that I'd have to reseed, but it looks like the seed is actually continuing to do its thing. Now, the biggest problem I have is that it is gonna rain today. So, actually it's supposed to rain for the next five or six days. The best I can hope for is that it does not go crazy because I do have this downspout and the one over on the other side of uh, where my truck is, and they are both dumping into that little pop-up right there. If it comes down really hard and it doesn't have time to go through the corrugated pipe where uh, all that foam was, then we're gonna have the same problem. But uh, here's the best that I can do is I'm gonna just let it grow. I'm gonna let it grow the way that it is and I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. If the water takes down any more down to the bottom of the hill, I'm just gonna let it go for now. Let's let all of the grass establish as is, and then I'll figure out how to fix it later because I'm, I have a feeling if I do any more right now, I'm just killing the grass that is growing. It is late. It is getting really hot. I'm really thankful that we've got rain coming over the next several days so that it'll keep things moving. And, you know, like Alan Haynes said in one of his videos the other day, the lawn care nut, he said, you know, nothing replaces rainwater. I mean, you can have all the irrigation you want, but if you don't have rain, it just it doesn't cover it as evenly and it doesn't it doesn't do it as, as as much good so i'm hoping that the rain over the next few days will really help establish what we have and then we can figure out how to reseed and fill in the blanks and all that stuff and how to divert some of this water because obviously the diversion that i created created other issues um, that one downpour was just a killer it wasn't it was bad but it got really bad really fast with 30 minutes of of that downpour Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series of videos in getting this lawn somewhat established. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated. I'm definitely sad. I was hoping that I'd have like a pretty, you know, even lawn back here. But you learn as you go, and I'm okay with making mistakes as I go. Uh, if we have to wait till the fall to really redo it and, and do it right and figure out where all the diversions need to be taken care of, then, then, then so be it. The front lawn is looking really good. I'll go out there in the next few days and do a mow uh, as soon as it stops raining. And we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the progress up there. Same thing, really hot. They get a lot of sun up in the front. So that grass is just gonna be, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be its own, its own uh, torture chamber with, uh, with all the heat that's up there. Anyway, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you just hit that like button. It really does help us. And if you haven't subscribed yet and I've earned your subscription, then please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell. And we will see you on the next one. Have a great weekend.